channel. I hope that you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and doing well during this time. In today's video, if you notice, I have a very special package here. This is from Ogre Bees. This was gifted to me, so a huge thank you to Ogre Bees because I'm so excited to open this, but also a huge thank you to this community because I would never have these opportunities without each and every one of you, so thank you so much. So today I'm going to be unboxing the new collection from Ogre Bees called Color Vibes, and I'm so excited to see this collection. Ogre Bees had sent me some pictures of it, and I think I'm in so much trouble because I love like, like from the pictures, there's so many that I love. So I'm really excited to see this in person. So if you'd like to see what beads are in the new Color Vibes collection from Ogre Beads, one momento, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea. I'm enjoying some pumpkin pie matcha from David's Tea in there. Actually, this is such a beautiful glass. This is their Nordic glass mug and it's so pretty. So I'm gonna enjoy this as I unbox. So a huge virtual cheers to you guys and let's get started with today's video. Alrighty, so I got my scissors and let's open this up. I am so excited to see this, you guys. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, you guys, let's open this up. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Look how lovely that is wrapped up. That's beautiful. And look, a little card. Oh, this is so pretty. Here we have it all set up. Let me just undo this. looks so beautifully like done. And we have a little card, so it says, Dear Emily, hope you're doing well. Enjoy unpacking and play. Love, Evelyn. And Evelyn's the designer of Ogre Beads. If you guys didn't know, she's so lovely and she's, she just, she's so talented because look at all the beautiful beads she creates. So that's her little card and the Ogre Beads card here. And now let's unbox. It says a gift for you. This is so sweet. I love the thought that she put into like opening this up. It feels like a gift. It's so pretty. All right, we'll open up the tissue here. Oh my gosh, look at all the amazing goodies inside here, you guys. Oh my goodness, so many pretty beads. All right, you guys, like, um, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, why don't we start here? I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Let's open this one first. I also do see that we have we have some cards, so let's look at that. So this is the new collection that we're gonna be looking at, and aren't the colors so pretty? The Color Vibes name of the collection is perfect because look at all the beautiful colors. Oh, and look, they have a polishing cloth. This is so cute. It says Ogre Beads name on it. I love that. Okay, and here's a little preview of all the new glass beads that are coming out. In this collection, if you guys know, it actually launches today. So Friday, April 9th, it is currently out. And if you do wanna shop it, you can definitely check out Ogre Beads website. I'll link it down below. But if you are in Canada or the US, our friend in the community, Mila, she actually started a company called Beads Candy Shop and she actually carries Ogre Beads. This is the first US retailer to carry Ogre Beads. So if if you do want to like have something shipped more locally to you, definitely check out her website. I'll leave it linked down below too. All right, so here we have four little beads to open. I love how they're wrapped in tissue. Here we go. Let's see. <gasps> this is so pretty. This looks like a moonlight one. Let me see. I believe that this one is Celeste Moonlight. And let me just put it up on here. Oh my goodness, this looks so gorgeous. So if you guys didn't know, the moonlight beads, they glow in the dark. So they have like an extra magical vibe to them. This one's really pretty because we have mixtures of like kind of a lilac-y purple. There's kind of like this auburn color, almost kind of like pinkish reddish to it. And oh, it's so pretty. And then the little bit of yellow that you're seeing, that's what glows. So when you're out at night or you're in a darker room, you'll see this bead glowing and it just adds to the magic. And I love how Overbees calls it moonlight. I just think it's so pretty. Oh, we got another moonlight. Oh my gosh, this one's so cool with the texture. Oh my gosh, this one's really neat. So this one is called, let me see if I can find it here. This one is Pul Pulsar, Pulsar Moonlight. So we'll just show you kind of right on here. And it is so cool. So another moonlight, so as mentioned, it does glow in the dark. But what I think is so cool is like, so underneath the part that glows in the dark, so the moonlight part, 
on the side details and when you kind of look at it, you see like these really cool like patterns and textures to it. And you have a mixture kind of a beige, brown, gold, that kind of violet purple color, kind of a lavender color, lilac a bit. This is so cool. Like the print behind it looks so magical. Like, and they complement each other really well too, even though like the colors are slightly different. They like, they look so pretty together. So I'm loving those. We got another Moonlight. I love this for opening all the Moonlights. I love how well organized this was packaged. So this next one that we're looking at is called Starshine Moonlight. So we have some deeper purples and blues in here. This also has like a really cool print kind of dotted almost. And yeah, you have like a deeper purple, a lighter purple, that kind of lavender color at the core of it. And of course you have the scattered moonlight, the part that glows in the dark through it. These are so pretty, you guys. Like, I'm loving how those look together. They're really, really pretty. And this one I can totally see my friend, A Charm Dreamer. She has a YouTube channel. Um, she's also on Instagram. She loves purple. And I don't think she has any of the Moonlight Beads in her collection. So I think, Rita, I think actually you would like this one. Even though the purple is slightly hidden when it glows, I just think it looks so beautiful. And on the side details, that little pop of purple is just so pretty. So those are the Moonlight ones. We have one more here to open. Ah, it's the last Moonlight. And oh my gosh, it complements um, the Celeste Moonlight so beautifully. So this one is called... Alia, I think that's how you pronounce it, Alia Moonlight, and it is very vibrant. You kind of have like this orangey red, a little bit of yellow, that kind of li lilac -y purple color going through. This actually, the colors of this remind me of Orchid Rain. Um, Marthnick Beads actually designed a bead called that, and it kind of reminds me of that a little bit with the color tone. So I'd love to pair that with those glass beads because this could be like a really cool centerpiece in between them. It is really cool and I, I love the details. And yeah, it really does complement Celeste Moonlight. Really beautiful. It's almost like a darker version of Celeste Moonlight, which is really pretty. So these are all the Moonlight beads in the collection. They're so pretty. I really love them. Moonlights are so magical. Actually, if you guys have seen, I have a Harry Potter Pandora video that I did with the Harry Potter collection, but I added some of my Moonlight beads to that bracelet. So if you do want to see them kind of how they look, I'll leave that linked. Um, and with these ones, I definitely am going to do a cool design because they're so, so pretty. So that's those ones. So moving along, we have another bag to open. So let's see what is inside. I'm so excited. All right, so we have four more beads to see inside here. <gasps> this is the one I was really excited about. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay, we got this one. And then we'll kind of look at them all in. Oh, this is the green version. All right, the first bead I want to share with you guys is called Soft Shell. This looks so magical. Number one, you have that beautiful kind of pixie dust vibe going through it because it has like that glittering sparkle to it. The dimension on this is just gorgeous. Even the core is really pretty because you see the little bit of twinkling. And the sparkle is like really deep within the glass. And then you have like space and mixture. And then you have the dotted details, kind of this twirling magicalness going on the outside. So I love the dimension and the texture to this. Again, I really love like when the beads have the dotted, like lifted dotted details. Cause I tend to like, sometimes I like to fidget with my jewelry and I don't know what it is, but I just love like playing with these. Like if I'm thinking about something. So whenever it has like texture to it, I just, I love that. This is beautiful because you kind of have like this darker brownish kind of ivory cream color going through it. And that beautiful kind of palish pink. And then like kind of a cheerful, very feminine detail of pink on the dotted details up at the top. This is definitely like a top favorite because you guys know me, one of my favorite color is pink, hence the pink shirt. So this one's totally up my alley. I think this would be a beautiful centerpiece bead. So that's the first one. And I'm actually gonna pull out this one next. This is called Chartreuse. And it's very similar to the one we just looked at. So soft shell. It is the green version, and then underneath it, you have that gorgeous glittering detail again, and it's kind of mixed in, you know, kind of deep in the core there, and then lifted up, 
You have the dotted detail up at the top. These actually look so beautiful paired together. I was originally thinking this would be a pretty centerpiece bead, but with it being color vibes, I mean, you could do one of this and one of this on the opposite sides for symmetry and they still complement each other so well because they're very similar minus the difference in color, but they complement each other so well. This really makes me think of like a fairy tale, like a princess out in the forest. Like I'm loving how those look. All right, and then we have these two to look at, which, oh my gosh, they look so pretty. So I believe this one is Twilight. Again, whenever I see purple, it makes me think of Rita, a charming dreamer. This is faceted and it really catches the light. You have a little mixture of kind of a creamy ivory white, kind of in a zigzag pattern almost. Then you have a deeper purple and then a little mixture of that beautiful golden sparkle, that shimmer going through it. Now I love the faceted beads, also the pixie dust beads because they truly catch the light and they just sparkle so, so beautifully. The detail of this is so nice. Even along the sides of the core, there's so much detail. And that's one thing I really love about ogre beads especially, because even on the size of their glass beads, there's so much detail to see. All right, and then the other one we have is a pink version of the purple one. So this was Twilight, and now we have Blushing Pink. And it actually complements Soft Shell really beautifully too. The colors are quite similar. Now, like the one we just saw, Twilight, this one has a zigzag kind of pattern again with that kind of whitish, kind of like a grayish lines are kind of going through it too, which is really cool. A lot of dimension to it faceted too so it catches the light and again you have that kind of gold and almost like with this it almost looks like a rose gold sparkle and shimmer going through and these just catch the light so beautifully you guys so that's what it was inside this bag oh my gosh I love these they just look so pretty I really do love how ogre beads like organized all of this to open because sometimes when you open things they're kind of like all over like, you know, here, there, and everywhere. And I really love that Ogre Beats really organized this to open up because it's so easy to like kind of compare the different colors and combinations together. All right, so we have another Ogre Beats bag to open. I'm gonna quickly steal a cup of tea again. I'm thirsty. Okay, so we have some more to open here. Oh my gosh, this looks so gorgeous. I know which one this one. So this one, along with another one, I have some stuff to tell you guys because these are now available for pre-order. Ogre Beads actually already sold out before this collection launched. They're pixie dust ones like I've told you guys before. They're my favorite and I think you guys really love them too. So these are available for pre-order. There is one more that I'm sure it's in here. I'll show you guys in a second. But this one is called Fantasy Pixie Dust Fragments. And anything that's labeled with Pixie Dust will have this gorgeous shimmer to it. And then anything that says Fragments will have the fauceted details going all over. So when you got a Pixie Dust Fragment, it's Emily's favorite because it's so magical, it's so enchanting, and there's so much sparkle. Now this has a ton of dimension. We have a mixture of kind of a goldish yellow color, a blue, a purple, the colors just kind of mixed together. It's very vibrant. Oh my gosh, you guys. It almost has like kind of an auburn vibe, just slightly hidden in there. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the shimmer. I love this so much. And I can totally see why this already like sold out because it is, oh my gosh, it's so magical. Oh my gosh, look at this one, the pinks. <gasps> This is so pretty. This is called Blushing Sparkles, and I can totally see why it's called that, because it does look like a little bit of that blushy pink. But you also kind of have like a very chill for, not quite make like magenta pink, but kind of a peachy, pinky orange color to it. It's so pretty. And almost, probably because I haven't held to this, but it almost looks like it has like a slightly purple tone to it, but I think it's probably bouncing color off of this. Oh, it's pretty. So you have a lot of little bubble details, a little bit of twinkle and sparkle to it. Perfect name, Blushing Sparkles, because that little bits of like the little dotted details shining. Oh, it's so feminine pretty. This actually really makes me think of like the spring and summer with that cheerful pinky peachy color. It's so beautiful. Okay, and we got one more to open. And I'm gonna assume that this is the Fascinating Pixie Dust. Yes, it is. <gasps> so pretty. So Fascinating Pixie Dust Fragments and the Fantasy. These are the ones that are available 
for pre-order. It's because they sold out so fast because they're like so gorgeous. Now, Fascinating Pixie Dust is a very pale pink. You got a little bit more of that kind of blushing pink tone, bits of gold. And then when I'm looking at it, I get this like kind of grayish, kind of like soft lavender, purpley, bluey vibe to it. It is. I can't wait to zoom in up close, like which you guys are probably already seeing, but when I use my other camera lens, I get a closer look. It's like a magnifying glass. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is just, it is so gorgeous. I can't even tell you which one out of the two Pixie Dust fragments, like which one's my favorite. Definitely, like, I'm a pink girl at heart, so I probably would say, like, this one, the Fascinating Pixie Dust Fragrance, but I'm in love with the Fantasy Pixie Dust Fragrance, like, the purpley, like, yellow. They're just so gorgeous. And then I'm just going to put the Blushing Sparkles beside the Fascinating Pixie Dust. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. It's so, so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I just love how these look. So that is that package. And, oh, my gosh. Gosh, this collection is, I'm so excited to play with these and to create some new designs. All right, heading into our next bag. Let's take a look and see what is inside. <gasps> we got the silver. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is Flower Field. It looks so pretty. I love Flower Field so much. Actually, Ogre Bees has some inspiration behind this. So I'm just going to read to you guys what this, like the inspiration behind it is. Flower buds turn into a sea of colors at the beginning of spring, and an ocean of fragrances welcomes us into this warmer season. Flower Field represents the best spring has to offer. It is just so pretty, you guys. I am just... I'm in love with the side details, really cool. You have like this kind of little dotted details going along the sterling silver. You have the little beautiful flowers in bloom. They just look so cheerful. I would love to get a second one of these just because I think it would complement. Like if you put it in between, like where's some of those glass? Like you put it in between them. I just think that would look so, so beautiful. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'll leave all of the, like, the beads I'm showing. I'll leave them linked down below in my description bar in the order you guys see them. Just in case like you want to check them out or whatever. It's quick and easy for you to find them. I'll link both um, Mila's shop as well as Ogre Bead shop so you guys can find them. Oh, this is beautiful. This reminds me of Soft Shell and Chartreuse. But this is like a more purpley version. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at that. So this one again, you have that dotted detail, kind of this creamy ivory with like kind of this grayish brownish line circulating through it. It just, it looks like magic. I find these, like I love these ones. They just look like, I don't know how to describe it. Like a, they look like a fairy tale. That's probably the best way I can describe it. And then inside you have that golden shimmer going through a nice deep purple, but the little dotted details on the top are that lighter kind of lilac-y purple, lavenderish purple that I love so much. Lavender is actually one of my favorite flowers and colors, so this one's really pretty. I can't wait to see this one paired with the other ones. Okay, and then moving along, we have another one to open. Oh, this one's pretty. This is like a peachy kind of pinky version. <gasps> this one is called Sun Kissed. Oh my gosh, the name. That makes me think of being on a beach with the sand and stuff. Oh my gosh. And the colors are so pretty. So it definitely is like a peachy kind of beigey color. And you have that golden little twinkle, again, kind of deep within the core. On the outside, you have like a pale pink, almost kind of like a nudish pink color up at the top. Again, you have that creamy kind of detail, kind of the darker line going through it. I'm just thinking about all the different things like I can design, like I cannot wait to play with some brace. Oh, look at this blue one. I'm getting distracted here. This is called Azure and it is so cool. So this is the detail that we were seeing in blushing pink and twilight, but it's a very bright, almost turquoise blue color. And again, you have that golden shimmer, that kind of creamy ivory zig zig pattern. And that little glimmer of sparkle is just gorgeous, you guys. It is just, oh, and that, it's just such a pop of color. These two, 
literally really make me think of beach drive. So Azure and Sunkist, like I love like the, I think what I'm loving about this collection is a lot of times I kind of stay within the same kind of color family, like especially with my glass beads. But what I'm feeling so inspired by is just the mixture of colors that I might not normally pair together. Like I'm loving how Azure goes with Sunkist, like that peachy kind of pinky sandy color. And then you got this pop of blue like it literally feels like an ocean like you're on a day at the beach I just think those look so pretty together all right I'm gonna open all of these up at the same time again <gasps> we got some more moonlight this one's called mimosa moonlight let's see what else is in here <gasps> this blue oh my gosh this one is called polar ice moonlight oh the blue is so vibrant it's like a mixture of blue and then over here, oh, this one's cool. This one gives me Harry Potter vibes. This is called Stella Moonlight. It's, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's start off with looking at Mimosa Moonlight. You have a very pale pink with a little bit of yellow. And again, these are the ones that glow in the dark. You have this golden shimmer. And it's interesting because when you look at the core, there's like this like hint of purple, kind of a purpley blue to it. And I love that. I can't wait to see these like glowing in the dark. I probably will actually include that somewhere in this video, like how they look when they're glowing in the dark, just so you guys can see the magic of them. This actually looks, look, it actually looks so pretty with my sweater. So beautiful. Okay, so let's move along to Polar Ice Moonlight. Here you have the vibrant pops of blue. And this actually would look so pretty, I think, with Azura. That I think of the colors because it has a hint of the that bluey color of turquoise of Azure in here, which I think is pretty. You have like a deep, dark kind of blue, like a denim blue. And I just love the different textures and colors of the blue. It adds a lot of dimension to it. And of course, you have that little bit of yellow, which adds that little glow in the dark detail when it's night. So these are beautiful. Last one is the Stella Moonlight and it gives me Harry Potter vibes because I'm Gryffindor and it's like kind of yellow and like a lighter red color, kind of like a, it's like an orangey red almost, at least in the lighting that I'm looking at it in. The core detail is really pretty and you do have that golden shimmer going through it. And again, you kind of have a paler color and then a deeper color to it. It is so pretty, you guys. So these are some more of the Moonlight ones and I'm just so excited to design with these. And you guys, there's still two more bakes open. This collection is huge. I truly think there is something for everyone. Like, I'm so curious to know which ones are your guys' favorites because I feel like everyone will have a favorite in this collection. There's just so many gorgeous beads coming out. The next one's here. So now, oh, this reminds me, I'm blanking on the name, but the bee that was released in the winter collection with the feather details, I think it was the winter collection. It's just a greenish blue version of it. This one's called, oh my gosh, the name, Treehouse Feathers. Oh my gosh, I love the name. It is so pretty. So you do have this kind of beautiful bluish tone to it. You got that beautiful like pop of green. It makes me think of the grass almost. And then the little golden creamy ivory feathers going through. And of course you have a beautiful kind of golden, golden sparkle like kind of hidden throughout it, kind of woven closer to the top actually of the glass. And then on the stem, I think that's what you call it, the stem of each feather, you have that golden like line going through it. It's just so pretty. Okay, let's open these next two. Let's see, oh my gosh, look at this. This is called Cool Breeze. And then we have, oh my gosh, this is so cool. This one is called Bermuda. Oh my gosh, the colors are just amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's look at Bermuda since I just have it here. So this one reminds me of Azure, blushing pink. We've seen like this pattern like in other parts of this collection, but this has such a like summer feel to it. It has kind of like a this gorgeous kind of greenish like tone. It's so cheerful. And what I love actually about this color is the detail on the top really pops out. 
you really do see the creamy like zigzag and the lines because of that color. Like you really see that pattern in detail so beautifully on this. Almost looks like a flower with the pattern on it. It's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Okay, and then we have Cool Breeze. And this one we have like a little bit of pale pink, that lavender lilac-y kind of purple. There's also like kind of like a golden peachy color to it in the core. Like, oh, it adds so much dimension. From the side, it looks really cool with the dotted details up at the top. I love the little dotted details. It totally makes me think, again, of the beach vibes. Like these colors just, they make me think of summer. They're so vibrant and fun and cheerful. I love this one. This one would be a beautiful centerpiece bead too. Oh, loving those. Okay, so now we have the last bag to open. So let me just put these ones away. And we have two, two bees. So I'm gonna guess that one of them is the bee that I've been really excited to see. It's a silver bead. Oh my gosh, I think this is it. It is, this is called Freshlings. And you guys, it's so cute. You've got these little chicks and they look like they're in like on top of a little flower and they're all like hatching and some of their beaks are opened. And oh my gosh, it's adorable. Actually, all of their little beaks are open. It looks like they're singing and chirping away. Like, hey mom, feed me. <gasps> the bottom is so pretty. It's just like a little daisy flower almost. The weight of it is so nice. Beautiful quality sterling silver. Oh my gosh, they're just so adorable. And actually I love it because I don't think there's technically, like no matter which direction you have it on your bracelet, it looks beautiful. Like there's something so cute to see with their little faces. It definitely mirrors each other, which is beautiful. And then I am gonna read you the inspiration behind this bead. This bundle of joy and sheer happiness brings a smile to everyone's face. It even looks like these baby birds are smiling themselves. Pure happiness in a bead. So I'm so silly because I think I said chicks, but it's definitely like little, little fresh little birdies in their little nest, but the nest looks like a flower and it is just so pretty, you guys. Like, oh my goodness, you guys, so funny. As I was filming, my memory card got full, so it cut off the last bit where I was gonna show you this bead, which is called Passionate. So I'm gonna like refilm this footage. I'm so sad it timed out, but I'm gonna show this up close to you guys. So this bead is called Passionate, and it reminds me of the gorgeous beads that were released in the spring summer collection from Ogre Beads last year. If you do wanna see that collection, I do have a review video, so I'll leave that linked up above the screen right now. But this bead also reminds me of a Charm Dreamer again, and you can see purple. It makes me think of Rita, and it's so pretty. Kind of have like a fuchsia, kind of cheerful pinky color, a little bit of pale pink, in this beautiful lavender purple color going through slight bit of like a creamy, kind of a creamy pink color going through. And how I describe this is like, it makes me think of like, kind of like the twisting and turning kind of colors and going through here. It really makes me think of the wind and like the flower petals or little flowers kind of floating through the wind. It is just so pretty. It also makes me like think of like swirling details, the side details of this is beautiful. And I just love like the pastel -y cheerfulness of this. This one I can definitely see myself pairing with like the fascinating pixie dust, the blushing pink, Stella Moonlight. But what I'm so inspired about this collection is literally mixing colors that I might have not thought about mixing together before. So I'm really excited to kind of create and combine with the different beads in this collection to like create like a really vibrant colored bracelet. It's just so beautiful. So anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. Here is a look at all the beads releasing today, April 9th from Ogre Beads Color Vibes Collection. This collection is amazing. There's like 23 beads total. So if you made it to the end of this video, oh my goodness, you guys, how gorgeous is this collection? Like I cannot get over. I'm so excited to design with these. I got my Ogre Beads bangle here. I also have, in case you guys missed it, I did just actually post this video from the Adore collection. This was released in February. They actually brought out their updated version of their Twisted Bracelet. Um, I do have a review video of this updated bracelet in that, so you guys wanna check it out. But I'm so excited to take these beads off, even though I actually am like loving this design right now. But to kind of create and combine with the new colors from this collection, it's so beautiful. Like I love Freshlings, I love the flower field bead. And oh my gosh, I don't even know 
how to pick a favorite right now. Like obviously I've always loved the Pixie Dust fragrance. They're my go-to, but I'm loving the Moonlights. This bead though, like soft shell, I just think is so gorgeous. It reminds me of a bead Ogre Beads did quite a few years ago. So I'm actually curious to kind of pair that with that one. Also, if you guys didn't know, Ogre Beads does have a promotion where you buy five regular price beads, you get the six bead free. So if there's any beads you're loving from this release that you're like, oh my goodness, I love that one or that one, it is technically worth it to buy a fifth bead so you get a six bead free. Um, I definitely think that's a great promo if you guys didn't know about it. It's, it's never, like they haven't ever ended that. It's been kind of an ongoing promo, so definitely check it out. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful collection. I'd love to know your thoughts as mentioned, so please let me know down below. Anyway, you guys, I wish you a magical, wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now, you guys.